Hey guys, it's Wine Wednesdays. Woo! Wine Wednesdays, Wine Wednesdays, Wine Wednesdays. So yeah, I know this has taken a while and I've had people email me, um, message me on Instagram and also on YouTube and Snapchat as well, wondering when I'm going to start my One Wednesday series. And I actually planned on starting this in February, which is the best month in the world, which is my birthday month. But funny enough, like you know how I mess I said it in one of my videos, like if you guys had questions and, and you know, things that you wanted me to talk about or answer during um, Wine Wednesdays, then you should send them to me but I hadn't gotten anything so I was like you know what in my next few videos I'll probably just mention that again and then see what happens and then um, start recording in February but then randomly two days ago I got an email from a girl and I was just like you know what 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 are the odds and I was like you know this is time for me to start this series so I hope you guys enjoy this I've been waiting for this in my glass today you know what everybody should pause if you don't have a drink right now I think you should just pause this video and go get yourself a glass of whatever drink even if it's not wine it could be juice tea you can put the tea in the wine glass just so you know we do this together in my glass today I have pink Moscato and yeah I got it for like five dollars to be honest but it's really really good it's Gallo and yeah that's what i'm going to be drinking today so you know what let's get straight into the video see me looking down i'm just going to read like the email because i have it on my laptop here and then i'll get straight into it so good so 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 good and mind you this glass is massive so the amount of wine in there is not that small as it looks so yeah this girl says I should keep her anonymous, obviously I'm not going to be saying any names, and she's 18 years old. She says, my boyfriend broke up with me in November last year, and at the time I was heartbroken, but I got over it quickly. He will text me randomly saying he misses me, and he misses us and everything we used to do, and also hanging out with me. Every time this happened, I just pretend that I'm over it but I don't think I am. I can't stop thinking about how happy I was and I haven't been the same way since. And I haven't been with this, and I haven't been the same way since. I'm not sure if these are the kind of questions that you want to answer or could you just help me out? I don't think I'm depressed, but I haven't been happy in a while. He texted me today, which is two days ago, um, saying that he hopes I find a great guy, but then he started talking about how many girls he's been with and also who, he's hooking, hooking up with. He's also seen his ex again. How do I respond to all of that? So yeah, that's the email she sent. And to be honest, where do I even start from? Thank, first of all, I just want to say thank you, whoever you are, which obviously you know yourself. Um, thank you so much for writing um, to me and I hope whatever advice I'm going to give is you know good enough and I hope it's not too late, you know? So the first thing I've gotten is that like you guys broke up and that must have been, you know, very, you know, emotional and sad depending on how long you guys have been together and, you know, the dynamics of the, the relationship and stuff. So I'm really sorry about that. But if, you know, it was something he did that was really, really bad, then yeah, it's probably best that you moved away. And yeah, like I mentioned, it's, it's very normal that you're being, like, it's very normal that you're sad and you're emotional about it. And, um... You know him messaging you all the time funny enough like I've actually been in situations like this and guys tend to do this I mean not all guys but some guys tend to do this especially when you know they don't really want you but then they don't want anybody else to want you or anybody else to be with you rather so they send you messages to make you feel like you know they're still into you or you should not move on but at the same time it's like they're doing their own thing so you know what the first thing I the first thing I'm going to advise you on is sit down and think to yourself you know this relationship why did it end what are the things that you know happened in it and the kind of things that he used to do to you like is this something that you know like as a woman and as a young lady you know you know to yourself that you should not be taking this and you're you're worth more if that's the kind of thing you conclude with then to be honest none of this should bother you and i know it would but you just have to tell yourself that you know what i'm just going to move forward and I'm going to forget about this. I mean, girl, this is the new year and it's even better that the relationship ended last year. And for him messaging you all the time and then making you feel bad and also, 
and also telling me about like all the girls he's hanging out with and stuff like that that just shows like his level of maturity and clearly like he's probably i don't know how old he is but seeing as you're 18 maybe he's around the same age as you and guys around that age are never really mature anyways so this is it this is something that you know they would typically do and i don't really want you to get like all upset and sad about it just message him to be honest and tell him you know i'm over this and i need you to stop messaging me what you need to do is that you need to stop entertaining that whatever you entertain is going to continue to happen and it's also with it also happens with everything else in life if you don't want something to happen to you in life if you don't want you know um bugs to keep on entering your room i know this sounds silly but you'll close your window do you know so like every single thing you don't want in life you do you take necessary steps to stop it and if you know you don't want this guy in your life don't entertain those messages you need to block him off social media, block him off everything, you know, block his number, tell him don't text me again. Try and move on. At the same time, you know, like I'm very like um I don't know like your religion stance or like your level of spirituality or whatever you believe in. But you know, if you're one person that believes in God, I think this is another thing that you should do. Just pray about it and ask God, how do I move forward with this? Is this is this just like a what they call this? A little like um, period where it's like rocky and the guy is meant to be for me but at the same time I don't think that you as a young beautiful girl God will give you someone who will be treating you this way making you feel you know emotionally disturbed and make you feel like you're it's it's I make you feel the way you're feeling because this is wrong like I'm looking back and he's telling you that you know he got back with his ex if he really wants you he wouldn't be doing that and it's just left for you to sit down and think about it properly you can be filled up with emotions and because you still like him depending on how long you've been together and even if because you guys have been together because you were in a relationship so you wouldn't you know be able to see it from another person's perspective or see it from outside your own box so the fact that he's done that meaning he act like i'm sorry to be blunt but he doesn't really care about you that much the fact that he's gone back to his ex I think you should really move on and you need to tell him that see I deserve better than this and I'm going to do better and I need you to leave me alone this is a new year um, whatever reason we broke up that's the reason we broke up and we don't need to be back together and you know what I can give ad um, different advice I can give you like different like opinions I can give you different things that you know I can give you different like you know different things and opinions and whatever i have to offer but at the same time it's still your relationship or rather was your relationship and it's still your life so it's left for you to do what you think is necessary for you to do and if you don't like want to like cut him off and take the like and take what i've said then that's perfectly fine you do whatever is best for you but as you've asked me this question if i was in your position i would first pray about it i would probably ask like a good friend that i you know trust very well trust very well just her opinion on stuff and sometimes it's not really that great to you know ask friends but at the same time it's like you they know things that you wouldn't they, they can see things that you wouldn't see especially if there's someone close to you and if you're close with your mom it's something that you should speak to her about as well and when you've done all of that you know just tell yourself see your self-worth is better than any relationship you would have and if he's making you feel down and make telling you about all these girls and making you think and making you feel sad then trust me baby girl it's not worth it you're worth more than that and you need to stand up for yourself and tell him no you cannot do this to me anymore so yeah i hope that answers your question and i hope that you know gives you some form of advice or you know whatever you can get away from this and yeah like um and um regarding the fact that you said you don't know if i'm going to answer questions like that my wine once is open for any type of question so if you're out there you want to ask me something if you want me to talk about something this is just going to be a fun place for everyone you know my people that view my my videos people that are subscribed to me for us to have like our little chit chat so if you want to talk to me email me ask me something message me on snapchat instagram i'll put my social media somewhere there so you can do that you just message me and i will be sure to make a video and answer your questions and if it's something that's really urgent i will just email you back but if it's something that can wait then you never know your video your question might be the next question on this series so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of wine wednesdays i enjoyed making this and i hope i helped the person 
thank you so much for tuning in and yeah i haven't finished my glass of wine but trust me once i finish recording this video i'm going to finish this <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and i hope to see you in my next video